Morning everyone, I'm late getting James because I've just been to do a call out. I had a call last night, some lights tripped off. Um, I told him to leave it, it's too late. I'll be there in the morning. And as you can see from this picture, they've had a dimmer fitted, a black nickel, a flat plated, and it's been jammed into a 15 mil back box. And it's, um, it's a halogen dimmer basically, and it absolutely stinks. But we're meant to just be doing some testing today, but um, we're late now, so. Um, James has arrived. James is here. We are now going to do some testing. I've just had to change a dimmer, my hands. Black, can you smell it? Not smell it, it's like fire. No, it it's nearly it. on fire, mate, the dimmer was. Um, yeah, so we see in a bit. Actually really neat. 25 mil incomers, that's the main bond. And the gas and water is bonded outside in the meter cabinet. Um, can't verify fuse, um, but yeah, it looks neat. We're going to get into this one. Yeah. <laughs> We're working through the circuits, starting with the cooker, um, six mil. It's actually really neat. I'm expecting this to be a pass, to be honest. James is just getting some lessons in RE, I think. So we record times five highest, 19.6. 19.6, cool, move on. Pass on the functional AFDD, non, complete, back, cool. Spare. Up lights. So we've got five lights up here, nice and simple. Bulkhead, and if I was just saying to James, if I wired this, I would come from the fuse board up through the here. So hopefully we'd come through these rooms and then here we should end, end the line. You might even be able to reach that, mate. Yep. See that light middle piece, unscrew it. It's this good. is Ikea here. No, see that light, yeah, that's it, unscrew that. Should be able to unscrew it, that's it. Keep going. Can you hold the thing above as well? Unscrew it. That should unscrew off of there and it will all drop down. It's like an Ikea special. That's it. And then let that drop down as well. That's it. There we go. How many cables? Two. Two. Or three. Might be three. Can't really tell from the table. Here we've got three. Loop in, loop out and switch line. So this isn't end of line, but we'll leave it down. So we need to check him. Yeah. Come to the landing, mate. Do the same there. It's great having James, look. He has got shorter though over Christmas, I think. What have we got in there, mate? Again, loop in, loop out. So it's not that one. Right, come to this one in here. Please, you better reach over there. Can we find one with two cables? That's what we're looking for. <laughs> it's nicely done though, it's all flagged up. The earths are sleeved, they're, not, they're in the same, but that's fine. And But they're all, it's all got sleeving on it and everything. Um, try that, this one then, mate. Please, same again. <laughs> oh, in this bathroom, you know, they've gone that way round. Yeah, I reckon so. Three? Yeah. yeah, put that one back up there, mate, because it's visually okay. And then when we do our um, R1, R2, yeah. as long as we've got a reading at the last light, we know that every light will have continuity, yeah? Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. Glad it does to you, because I haven't got a clue. There's a little, um, little screw bit inside that needs to, you'll see. I'm back up, we've got steps. James is now screwing these up. We've done a visual check on these. Gonna take the lamps out. And we're gonna make sure all the switches are on, okay? On position. I'm now gonna come into his bathroom and I believe this is end of line. It's just, it should be a screw. There we go. LED. 
that's been changed. So we'll have a look. There we go. We'll have a look. What is um, behind here? Looks like a, a flex. Well, I'll, t I'll take this down. We'll have a look. Guess what's behind door number one? <laughs> James, have you been doing Saturday jobs? <laughs> Luckily we took this down. Uh, yeah, that's not the right way um, to do that. So we will probably do something with that today for the client. Um, and this isn't end of line either, which is surprising actually. So this, um, so we just tested right that here. Um, you can put this bar from like point two five. Just working our way around these ones, ones, and then so just don't have to touch it. But I can't get any continuity. We've got continuity there. We have got no yeah. continuity between the um, R one R two basically. So yeah, the, the live and the line, and the line, and, and the earth. earth again. So we leave this one off. That means that Even this is line. not. I think after so that. So this must go, go around this way now and then come back this way. So we're going there next. I need to check the light fittings and connections by somebody else. You on? Yep. You recording? Yeah. <laughs> we just um, we just went back to that light, and there's a loose connection in that light. No and behold, I believe this is end of line now. I reckon they've added a loft light in. There we go, 0 0.74. 74 now, so let's go back in there, mate. Well, we didn't have any continuity. As simple as that, a loose connection will lose the whole earthing system in your lighting circuit, yeah? Okay, 0.62. So that tells me that it does come round the way I thought it does, and it ends up at the landing. Someone has then added in a lighting cable and wired in a loft light, yeah? Yeah. All right. We're gonna just um, stick a Wago box up with a cable, just to get rid of this um, pendant that's been shoved in the ceiling, yeah? Right, save me going in the loft. I've got my connectors on now. I'll be able to slip a Wago box over that, push it in the ceiling. Um, I've got the 222s, which go in this one here, the 222 box. And if you ever use the 221s, they give you these little um, little things, basically, just to make it up, because they're, they're a bit smaller, look, okay? But we don't need them. Okay, there we go. Left with our twin and earth now. We can now connect him into the light. It's double insulated all the way through and it's got a proper Wago box above. So we've got the continuity now through CPC 1.06 on the lighting circuit, which is superb. All right, there's one ring final in the house. Look, 0 0.35, 0 0.35, 1.01, which is high. It's probably double what that should be. So we're gonna go around now. A lot of these properties have had singles and they've been converted to doubles. So you can see there's sort of some trunking in that wall there that someone's put in. There's no grommet, which is fine. That can go down as a recommendation. It's not a failure. We've got to do visuals anyway. And as there's only one or two sockets in each room, we're gonna check these anyway. And we're gonna see if we can get this reading down. So what I've done is link this back out at the consumer unit. We'll then go around and keep testing and we'll try and locate where it is. There is a way of doing it with the fly lead and stuff, but. Um, we're just going to do it this way. Right, there we go. We're all done on that one. There was a few things um, just to note down on that one. We couldn't get much footage. Thanks for the coffee, Liam. Um, we had to start homeschooling, baking, baking sandwiches <laughs> going on. So it was very hard to. There was a few petty things, no grommets. The SWA to the garage, um, it's not installed correctly. Um, we've got high resistance on the um, CPC on the one socket circuit in the house. So that needs um, further investigation. The outside front light, um, it's not fixed correctly, I believe. And the cable is just twin and earth. Um, outside and then obviously they've got the things like the consuming it's plastic which is just a c3 um 
there's a few things like that. I think Liam wants me to go back and do some um, some some bits, some spotlights, maybe some main smokes. Um, maybe the garage put his own supply out there. So I'll send Liam, the client, a, um, a quote. Um, there was a few things that we actually fixed when we were there. You can see we, we fixed the... Um, the water bond under the sink, the clamp was completely broke, so I just put a new one on it. It's just quicker to do that. Um, what else did we fix? We had, as you saw, we had that fault on the upstairs lighting circuit. We we sorted that out. And we also had a um, end of line downstairs. The light was in the hallway. We had a terrible um, R1, R2 reading, which means we had high resistance either on the line, R1 or the CPC R2. I managed to track it down to the light in the kitchen. It's one of those multi-spots. Um, spots. Someone had in, um, it was loop in, loop out, switch wire, and on the loop out, they had completely crimped the live. So it was on the um, PVC. It was making enough connection for the circuit to work. But um, once I'd restripped, I actually put them into Wagos, and then we got it right down. I think it's like 0.65. So um, that, that really improved the reading. Um, that's it basically. So we're done on that one. Um, we're all labelled up, um, and we'll probably see you tomorrow, which um, which will be another day.